Hey guys, welcome back. I'm glad to be back with you. So, as you know, I've been gone for a little while. I uh, had some family issues come up, had some health issues. Uh, messed up my back, so it's kind of kept me down a little bit. But, good news is I'm back now. So, first and foremost, I want to say thank you to the subscribers. I appreciate you guys sticking with me. Number two, I want to say thank you to the guys over at uh, TheOriginalSafety2.com. Um, you guys have been awesome. You checked on me, uh, sent me a message, asked me how I'm doing. Uh, always been there, so you guys are great. I really do appreciate it. It's more than just a shaving forum. It's a place where people, yeah, we like to shave with the uh, single edge stuff, but it is a, uh, a brotherhood, a fraternity, I guess you could say. Um, I don't know how that would translate into Greek letters, but maybe we can give it a try one day. That'd be a good idea, don't you think, Fuzzy? I think we should work on that. So, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this shave going. Now, this is not my signature shave. Uh, you saw Fuzzy's signature shave earlier. Well, I'm not going to do my signature shave this time. I'm going to save that for a little ways down the road. But, it is going to be a shave of quite a few things that I, I do use, uh, that, I, that I enjoy. So, today, the razor we're going to be using is this beauty right here. This is the, uh, the Jim uh, Jr. Uh, this is one of the first actual razors that I started on. Uh, Fuzzy was kind enough to send it to me. No questions asked. Hey, this guy's, you know, he's getting started in this. He likes it. Let's send it to him. Let's let him get going. So we're going to rock and roll this razor today. Um, second thing, second or soap we're going to be using today is going to be Arco out of the Puck. Uh, a lot of people say this smells like citronella candle. It probably does, but still it's great shape for your money you can't beat it uh, and then last but not least uh, we are going to be using a badger brush the reason i chose this brush today is the cheapest brush that i could find on ebay it was literally six dollars uh, it's been soaking in hot water uh, for probably about the last go i'd say five or six minutes just getting some of the water out except the excess water out here out and uh, we're going to go get started. So, again, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. appreciate y'all uh, staying tuned. And we're going to get back to making these videos with regular, more uh, frequency. So, what I'm doing right now, I'm just going to dip the uh, bristles of the brush in a little bit of water, kind of drain them out a little bit. That way I can get, uh, start to get a load on here. I do love Sunday nights. Uh, I'm filming this on a Sunday night. And there's baseball on. So, I, uh, I, love Sunday, I love Sunday nights for baseball. Sunday morning to church, come home, change into your blue jeans, watch a little bit of baseball, it's great. Alright, here we go. I'm going to straighten into a face leather because that's the only way to do it. No reason to do anything other than a face leather here. As you can see, I mean, it immediately starts to build that lather. This, one's, this brush is very, very floppy. As you can see, it doesn't have a lot of backbone to it, which is different than I normally like. I normally like one that has more backbone. It doesn't have to have that backbone in there to be able to use it. Not a requirement here. There we go. This is actually the second brush that I bought. First one I bought, I still have it and we we'll use that on occasion as well. It does have a little bit more backbone than this one does, but I like this one for these kind of shaves. You know, it's just effortless. There we go. Hope you guys are having a, having a good weekend. Uh, mine's going well. Just excited to get back to work now. As you can see, plenty of lather in the brush. Uh, I could make this a little bit better if I wanted to, but yeah, I don't really need to. Just do a little bit of touching up here and there. There we go. That's how I tell if it's a good lather. If I can do that, and it peaks like that, so it's good and protective. All right. There we have it. We're going to go ahead and get started. It's going to be a little bit of a long video. If it is, I apologize, but you guys can certainly understand why. <coughs> All right, here we go. 
And I suppose he said in one of his videos, uh, these single razors are really easy to find the angle. The main thing that you want to do you want to lay the razor flat on the face like this, work it down to the blade, just ride that cap. Once you find it, and you got that, you got that good, the next thing you're going to work on is pressure. Now, Lots of people will say no pressure. Well, I disagree with that. I, I want a little bit of pressure on mine. Um, just wiping this blade off because it's got a little bit of cream on there. starting to get stuck. Um, I like a little bit of pressure on mine. I'm going to be honest with you, I do. I like that because I find that it does shave a little bit better when I put a little bit of pressure on it. Now, I'm never going to change my angle. But I am going to use some pressure. Alright, now we can get the neck here. As you can see, as I do this, I come across the growth here. Going kind of at a diagonal because that's how my growth goes. This leather is a little bit thick, but that's okay. It'll be fine. If you guys are used to the uh, double edge stuff, it's not exactly the same. It's close. Not exactly the same. Uh, so I highly recommend you don't mix up the two. You know, take a week or so and just focus on the single edge exclusively. Don't switch back and forth between the two of them. Yeah, it's not, not going to go well. Alright, so first pass done. Great pass, no problems at all. So we're going to go ahead and put more water on here. We're right back into a second line. As you can tell, that first one, yeah, there was no issues at all. Um, that's a uh, pound blade, I believe. That's fifth or sixth shave. They just get better the more that you use them. They really do. There we go. Watched uh, Shaving with Fuzzy's video earlier, the uh, latest one that he just uploaded. It was a good one, Fuzzy. I liked that one a lot. And uh, speaking of rednecks, just like you were talking about, but Jeff Foxworthy, well, I guess I are one too. I try to use a little bit of uh, diction and enunciate correctly, but every now and then that uh, redneck comes out and you just can't have a redneck, so what you gonna do, right? And I do believe that the definition of a redneck, as told by Jeff Foxworthy, is the glorious absence of sophistication. So yes, Fuzzy, you can in fact be up in the great white north and still be a redneck. So, there we go. That's looking pretty darn good right there. Yep. All right. Second pass. We're going to modify it across and again, uh, across and with this, this time as well. Right. 
And the more that you use one of these razors, the, the easier it's going to be for you. And eventually, yeah, you're just going to understand exactly what you're doing and not have to think about it. It's just going to become automatic to you. Still enough residual sleepiness on my face to be able to do that. Now I know how much Fuzzy likes to do his third pass with Witch Hazel, but I say that from a cleanup. This pass, yeah, we're going to go against the growth. Alright? And that's the fun part about using these razors here. Yeah. It's the fun part about shaving this way. Now you can do what you want to. There's nobody that's going to tell you that you're wrong. Well, fuzzy might, especially if you mention blooming, especially if you mention blooming Williams. But other than that, as far as technique goes, as long as you have your angle and your pressure right, if you want to do a six pass shave, do a six pass shave. If you want to do a one, do a one. It doesn't matter to me. All right. As you can see, this one's a little bit more dry this time. That's okay. Not quite as much hair cuts. We'll be all right. Feel free to experiment also, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, if you see that you're not getting exactly the shade that you want to, yeah. Don't be afraid to experiment with it. You notice sometimes down here on the neck, I don't know how you guys can see, but on the neck I'll do a little bit of J-hooking. Now he kicks that mold, but that'll be all right. There we go. One more a little bit right here. With the chin. Alright. Now we'll just do a little bit of a touch up pass again and we'll be done. There's always a couple of spots and I always have to touch up every single time. Doesn't matter what I do. I feel that really fine here. And that chin that I got. this time but it'll be fine. <coughs> Excuse me.
down on the neck again. And then we'll be done. And that's all there is to it right there, folks. So we're done. Yeah, I got a little bit of I got that mold just a little bit right there. It's all right. It happens sometimes. Uh, but overall, decent shave. One that I'm proud to have. It'll definitely work. Uh, so like I said, uh, if you guys like these kind of shaves, pick one of these old razors up. Um, but if it, come over to the forum and join us. It's the original safety number two dot com. I look forward to seeing you guys. Finish this off tonight. We're gonna go with um, a little bit. Uh, we're gonna go with some old spice. Let's just make it a red and white evening. How about that? We got the old spice, the Arco. It'll be a good day. Old spice, Arco, and a Jim Junior you know, power blade. Can't go wrong with it. Get a little bit more here. There we go. Well, that'll do it right there, guys. So again, appreciate y'all sticking around. Appreciate y'all's patience with me. And uh, I am feeling a lot better now. I'm getting better every day. I'm feeling better every day. So that's always a good thing. But like I said, I appreciate you guys. Y'all are awesome. Y'all are the reason I do these videos. I do them for me. I do them for y'all. Y'all keep watching. I keep doing them. Take care. Hope you have great shaves. And don't forget, head on over to the forum. And we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.